Many of my friends and colleagues use a Fitbit, a small wristband-like device that is used to monitor physical health and to count one's steps. The piece of technology has become so ubiquitous that we often forget its humble origins, a device known simply as the pedometer. On May 3rd, 1778, Thomas Jefferson sent a letter to James Madison from Paris. Jefferson focused much of his writing on the topics of national credit, loans, interest rates, land speculation. Nothing particularly out of the ordinary for a discussion between two founding fathers of a brand new nation. What was peculiar was Jefferson's description of a brand new device enclosed within the letter. The correspondence included the first mention of a pedometer in the history of the United States. 53 years later, Fordham University was founded as St. John's College in 1841, bringing with it something to New York City that was sorely lacking. Fordham brought with it a Jesuit tradition that asks us to reflect on who we are as God's children, to act as men and women for and with others, to care for the entire person. Through its teachings, we are reminded of our most important gifts, love, faith, and hope. Just as the pedometer and the Fitbit allow us to count our steps, Fordham University stressed the importance of counting our missteps, examining our conscience, a conscience that pains us when we see injustice, discrimination, hatred, and hopelessness. A conscience that reminds us that we are at our best when we foster equality, inclusion, and love for one another. A conscience that serves as our guiding moral compass. A compass that unites us all and helps us to define and then redefine who we are on a daily basis. From Archbishop John Hughes to Vince Scully, from Geraldine Ferrara to Carolyn Dursey Kniff, and from Mary Higgins Clark to Stephen McGinnis, our history is a rich one, filled with men and women who have made their mark on this world with a higher purpose. With the Founder Scholarship, you have relieved a great burden and have allowed us to focus our time and our energy on making this world a greater place. Your generosity in paying it forward inspires all of us to work harder and set our sights ever higher. You invested in us, and we now have a responsibility to make good on that investment. Since taking my final class at Fordham back in December, I have reflected on who I am and how I can use my skills to be of aid to those around me and my love for public service has grown deeper by the day. I recently applied to law schools and began work at Bloomberg Philanthropies, a truly one-of-a-kind organization that transforms the world by bringing together cities and mayors and convening them to create a prosperous, data-driven future. It is with a profound sense of happiness and honor that I dedicate my time to working for such an incredibly generous organization each and every day. Fordham has provided me with an incredible education and a foundation that I will continue to build upon through a career in public policy and public service. It is my dream to one day serve as the mayor of this great city of New York. And I am just, like, I'm just truly blessed to be here tonight and have this opportunity to share that dream with all of you. Speaking on behalf of all of the Founder Scholars here on this stage, we are both proud and humbled to be a tiny part of this rich 175 legacy of Fordham University. As those around us count their steps, we count our missteps to learn and to grow as better men and women
for this beautiful world that we live in. We thank you for all that you have done, and we cannot wait to play our part over the next 175 years. Thank you all very much.